Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. We're, it's good to be back. Uh, welcome back, y'all. It's good to be back. Let's get into today's show. We got a good one for you today. Uh, follow on Carso. Am I saying this right? Um, Akuso. I, I think I'm saying that right. With uh, Clay Waterman. Much easier name to say. Before we get that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Um, it's also in that little ticket below. Just five dollars a month gets the absolute best gambling advice, the absolute best boxing gambling advice anywhere in the boxing universe. Gets you the lock of the week, it gets you asked to book you anything, it gets you request a video, it gets you the absolute best gambling advice anywhere in the known boxing universe. So join the Patreon, just five dollars a month. Uh, we hit on that last week, we hit on it the week before. We, we, we are clicking and rolling again with the lock of the week. Uh, also head on over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. That's promo code BOXING to save 10%. That's on the move nutrition without compromise, the nutrition of a steak, and the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Also, subscribe uh, to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into today's show. Paulo Acuso. This is a fighter that I like. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see his progression. Quick hands, good twitch. He's a good athlete. He's got a little bit of that American is style to him. Um, call it what you want, an American urban style. He's got that to him. Good power, good explosiveness. He can throw his shots. Quick, he throws good, short, quick punches. He keeps his uh, front hand low. A little bit of that, like I said, a little bit of that American style. A little shoulder roll, a little Philly shell. He can he can do a little bit of that. Nice southpaw jab. He's a southpaw, of course. I should have mentioned that at the top. Southpaw, quick, snappy jab, real quick. Flicks it in there. It's not a thudding jab or anything like that, but he can score it. He can he can flick it in and score it. Uh, good when he throws in combinations. He's really good, accurate, quick combinations. Wish he would do it more. There's a lot of upside to Akuso. Too much one at a time. Too much one at a time. He'll, he'll sit back and counter. He'll flip one jab, double things up, triple things up, keep moving, keep circling. There's a lot of good things to like about this guy. I'm a big fan of this fighter. He can box well off the back foot. Really sharp counter puncher. He's, he's, he's good with the one punch counters. Just put more punches together. Quick, sharp, smooth, good. Quick mobile feet, really good mobile feet, good footwork. He does things well. He's a good athlete. But this is a fighter with promising upside. His power is not great, but it's good enough. Slick shots, slip shots well. Uh, he can make you miss, make you miss. He's a slippery fighter. He slip shots well. He, he's slippery. This is a fighter with upside. Um, he, he doesn't have a ton of pedigree. He hasn't been in with, with a ton of world beaters. I think he's a little bit older, too. Let me look. 27. So he's not older, but, like, he's getting there. Like, this is where you want him to be. He's 6'1". He's got four knockouts and seven fights. Like I said, his power is okay. It's not earth-shattering. It's not poor. He's got mediocre power. He's fighting Clay Waterman. And, again, these aren't the biggest names, but this is an intriguing fight. We saw Clay Waterman on Pro Box. Um I'm not super impressed with him. Shorter, stocky. He slips his way in. Doesn't jab enough. He likes to bull, bully a bulldog his way in. He'll work with slips and pre-slips, but he's pretty much straight in, straight out. Throws wide punches. He's not super fast. What is he three more shots straight? Pressure fighter. Unleashes on the inside. He's good with the wide shots on the inside, but he's a little bit flat-footed. Um, he's, like I said, he's straight in, straight out. A little bit of pop. A little bit of pop. A good pop. Not great is what I should say. He's not a huge hitter, and, and his shots are wide, but he does commit to him. He throws him hard, especially if you're a stationary fighter. He can tee off on you if you're a stationary fighter. If you're a moving target, and Acuso is a moving target, this is not going to be easy for him. He's going to have to try to get inside on a quicker, better athlete. It's going to be a difficult fight for him. He does keep up the pressure. Uh, he's physically strong, commits to his shots, throws hard shots, uh, but he, you know he doesn't set him up off a jab. He just kind of flings him up, throws him. 
can bulldog his way. He's physically strong. I just don't see him. He's not really uh, adapted at cutting off the ring or anything like that. There's like nothing great about him. He's not a bad fighter. He's a good pressure fighter. Um, to, when he, he's good on the inside. Once he's on the inside, he's good. He's getting on the inside, cutting off the ring. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do. You guys can see where I'm leaning with this fight. So uh, I'm glad we got this now because I'm, I'm into this fight. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I like Akuso here. Uh, I, I, I like him probably by decision is my guess. So I would do this. You could do this. I would do this. Um, let's pull this up. Kuso by decision. Kuso money line. I would kind of lock both these in. Over eight and a half. You could lock these in. Um, I would take my normal bet. I like this a lot. If it doesn't hit, you hit that, right? It's an even money bet. You get your money back. Just do that. Um, Akuso and Akuso the money line. Split your normal bet. So your typical bet is 100 bucks. let's say. I would split it up between Kuso money line and Kuso by decision. If that hits, you hit both of them. You hit $17 on that. And forty-five dollars on that, sixty-three dollars on a hundred-dollar bet. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I think this is a safe bet. You're gonna hit one or the other. If Akuso wins uh, by decision, you've hedged your. If Akuso wins by knockout, at least you've hedged your bet a little bit. But I'm, I'm confident this goes. Uh, this goes over. I like it to go over. I, I, I would feel comfortable betting Akuso. I like the odds on this. I think it. It, it, it's too close if anything it could be a little wider and I would still bet a Cuso. It's not that competitive of a fight to me. I'm not that impressed with Clay Waterman. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Book, it comes out to you for every single major fight. Show you how to... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, distracted. Uh... Breaking down every major fight so you have consistent make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, so join the Patreon just uh, $5 a month. Uh, get to the lock of the week. It's the best uh, boxing advice anywhere in the universe. It is October, November 19th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.